Thank you. Um, yeah, hey, I'm Linda. I'm here to talk to you about uh, my uh, hobby, Code Club. Uh, we're a nationwide, well, nationwide, huh? global network of after-school coding clubs led by volunteers. And like most good ideas, uh, this idea came about in the pub. So I was meeting my friend Claire on a Monday, it's a very dangerous thing, uh, in a pub to plan a hack day. And we wanted to do something with kids because there had been a lot of talk in the media about how uh, ICT uh, curriculum and uh, just education uh, in the UK sucks at the time. So we wanted to do something for kids. But uh, the more we had to drink, uh, the more confident we got. And we were saying that, oh, it's a shame that they can come along to this one-off thing and get really excited and enthusiastic about uh, programming. And then, what, they're just going to go home, uh, sit on their own in their bedrooms, and it will be sad. Uh, so uh, we had more to drink. And then the idea of uh, Code Club came about. Uh, we registered a, a domain name, as you do. I'm sure you've all been there, drunk in a pub, registering domain names. Um, and we wrote this uh, mission statement, because we were very serious. Also, we like to uh, keep things uh, simple. Um, and, and then we launched with a tweet, uh, very confident, only retweeted by 30 of our closest friends. Uh, but then, all of a sudden, uh, boom. Uh, so, I mean, it even says, like, code clubs planned to teach kids programming. Planned, like, how does that get written about in Wired or BBC Tech? It does not make sense. Uh, we had nothing. We had an idea. We were drunk in a pub. We had an idea, and it got written about. And then we went, oh, shit, now we actually have to do it. Um, so I gathered some friends, and we started writing the uh, so-called curriculum. And... Um, uh, testing it. Uh, this is uh, Claire. She's not a programmer, so I used her to do uh, the first round of user testing. You know, with enough uh, whiskey and Haribo, she's like uh, approximate. Or, uh, it's a nice uh, emulation um, for kids. Um, so we made these uh, projects. Uh, they're not very political correct. Uh, we get a lot of, well, uh, we don't have to be because we're outside of schools anyway, so we have fun. Lions said uh, our farting is, is fun, kids love it. Uh, and we took them into uh, 20 uh, pilot schools, um, and we were there uh, going through them and you know, improving all the lessons, um, like the way we're used to from the web world, which we come from. Uh, also doing a lot of research, so, you know, what are kids into, important reading. Um, and then, of course, we developed our own um, uh, metric for determining the success of each project based on like smiles and fist bumps. Uh, also at the end of every project we have a very short survey which basically asks on a scale from uh, zero boring to a hundred most awesome most fun you had in your lifetime ever, how fun was this lesson and I'm very proud to say that we are 92% fun. Um, so, so far so good, right? <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so far so good. So when we were in the pub, we thought, oh, maybe we'll start with five schools. In a year's time, we might even have, uh, you know, 20 schools. And, uh, well, that didn't happen. <laughs> so we're currently at 978 uh, schools in the UK. Uh, it's a bit terrifying, really. Um, but that's 13,000 children learning to program since last year uh, when we started. Uh, so the idea is, is really simple. So we need a volunteer, a volunteer programmer, that takes the projects that we have made that are tried and tested. Uh, they go to a venue. The venue needs to have some computers. And it needs to have some kids in it. And that's a code club. It's, it's quite simple. Um, so we work closely, or a little bit closer with some schools, uh, just so that we can keep uh, improving all our lessons all the time. Uh, and we actually hired the teacher from uh, Soa Parish School uh, to work with us now full time. One minute. Cool. Um, so uh, <laughs> we also go around to events like this and we run workshops, uh, scratch workshops. Play-Doh uh, conducts electricity. So much fun. Like these girls, 
really didn't want to leave because they were having too much fun making squishy circuits. Um, it, yeah, uh, so we get to uh, do fun stuff like that for work. Uh, also, we're doing you know the next curriculums at the moment. We are doing Python and Raspberry Pi and writing seconds. some books and you know important research. Um, but that wasn't enough, so we decided to launch uh, worldwide. Um, it's being translated. It's all on GitHub, being translated to loads of languages. Already been translated into Dutch, seconds. by the way. But we don't have any in the Netherlands yet. So, you know, that, those are the details. Uh, go start some uh, code clubs. Let's teach everyone to code. Yay. Eight, seven, eight. <laughs>